Tonight, Texas lawmakers are working on a new plan to give tax dollars to parents for private and home schools. After failing to get enough support in the House, some are now hoping to target children who need the most help in school. KXAN's Phil Prazen tells us many look at this bill as a compromise. Here at the Capitol, school choice advocates have been pushing for education savings accounts. So every family could have a debit card worth about five to $6,000 they could use for private schools or home schools. But now that idea is being downsized so that only children with special needs would qualify. It's a pretty small population of the people that will participate. Probably a few thousand kids will actually take advantage of it. And we can also see how it works, right? We can see whether or not this system works at all. Representative Ron Simmons whittled down his original bill to a topic he knows about. His son grew up with autism, and they chose a mix of home and private school. He says public school programs don't always improve fast enough. Every day you wait for them, it's not just a day you're waiting, they get for they regress, mm -hmm. all right? And so these families don't have time for that. Special education is expensive. Districts already spend far more than they are given on those students. Monty Exter from the Association of Texas Professional Educators says improving special education should come from within the state school system. He worries private and home schools won't have the same required standards. You're talking about taking away their federal rights under IDEA, which are very substantial rights, in addition to what all vouchers do, which is to weaken the public system. And despite a major House vote to ban the idea, Representative Simmons says his bill has a public hearing next week. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. And Simmons says he will try and attach this idea onto a school finance reform bill, which the House is taking up this week. So who qualifies for this education savings account? Only those whose children are classified as special needs are eligible. According to Texas state law, a student is eligible to participate in a school district special education program if the student is 21 years old or younger and has a visual or hearing impairment that prevents them from safely being educated in a classroom without special services. Or if the student is between three and 21 years old and has a physical disability, emotional disturbance, a learning disability, autism, a speech disability, or a traumatic brain injury. The Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, or IDEA, states that every child who has a disability has the right to a free and appropriate public education. It requires the school to provide special education that meets the needs of your child at no cost. This requires schools to provide accommodations and modifications for your child, and that includes providing services like transportation and speech therapy.